Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have a video on one of my favorite World War II era Argentinian weapons developed for the Argentine military forces in World War II. Now keep in mind Argentina was not involved directly in the conflict but they did prepare for war as in they were manufacturing weapons they were building up their arms supply for an all-out war in the Second World War. And this weapon series here is one of the early submachine guns developed by Argentina just before World War II in 1938. And that weapon system is the Ballister Regould Carbine, also known as the HAF DASA Z4, or the Ballister Regould Z4 Carbine from 1938 to 1939. This was a rare self-loading or select fire blowback operated submachine gun carbine that entered service in 1940 for the Argentinian armed forces and it was also used by the Argentinian military police. The weapon was developed by a somewhat well-known or somewhat known Argentinian arms designer by the name of Carlos Ballester Rorais Regud between the years 1938 and 1939. The weapon entered production in late 1939, around December, as this footage shows you, and it was one of the first Argentinian submachine guns to go into mass production just before the outbreak of the Second World War. Now, this weapon system is a blowback operated submachine gun carbine. It came in two calibers, either .45 ACP or 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum. It was fed by either a 40 to 54 round double stacked magazine, detachable box magazine. The rate of fire varied between 300 and 700 rounds per minute, and the actual number of these that were manufactured is unknown. At least 5 to 10,000 of these must have been manufactured between 1938 and 1945. Now, the weapon entered production in late 1938, at least a year before World War II would break out. Only a year before World War II would break out in September of 1939. Keep in mind, Argentina remained neutral for most of World War II. Now, between 1939 and 1944, 1945, Argentina had begun modernizing their armed forces. They were importing weapons from a variety of different nations, mostly the U.S., Britain, but at one point, even from the Axis powers, the Axis power nations of Germany and Italy. They also imported a number of planes and tank models from various countries, mostly the U.S. and Britain, but they also manufactured some of their own clones of various armored fighting vehicles. And they also managed, manufactured their own copies of certain infantry weapons, mostly bolt-action rifles and submachine guns. Now, this weapon here, the Z4, was a somewhat standard submachine gun carbine in the early days of the Second World War. In terms of its design and action, it is very similar to the Italian Beretta Model 1938. It is also similar to the Hungarian Danuvia series of, of select fire machine carbines or submachine gun carbines designed for the Hungarian armed forces in the years 1939 and 1943. The Hungarian Danuvia M39 and M43 series of heavy submachine gun carbines. This weapon system here is one of my favorite rare Argentinian submachine guns. It is not the only rare one. There are a ton of rare limited production and experimental submachine guns and carbines um, developed by Argentina in the 1930s and 40s but this one here actually made it into service, at least limited service, with the Argentinian armed forces and in the Argentinian military police and the general police or civilian police. The weapon system stayed in service at least until the 1950s when it was phased out for more modern weapons that were either manufactured in Argentina or were imported from mostly western and northern countries like the U.S. and Europe. And that's basically it. This is just one of the cooler rare submachine guns from Central America or from Latin America in the early days just before and during the early part of the Second World War. So what do you all think of this weapon? The Z4 Ballister Regoud Select Fire Carbine from 1938? One of Argentina's 
first mass-produced submachine guns, and one of the rarest weapons used by a mostly neutral World War II faction. Argentina wasn't involved directly in the war, but they were kind of profiting from both sides, at least at the beginning of the war, and largely the Allied powers towards the middle and end of the war. So what do you all think of this weapon? Please tell me in the comments section below, and until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.